nothing, nothing at all. Three months for him to do something? Why did my pants just rip? Oh, girl! Ah! You know what? Period. Let's go, Kira. Yeah. It is the next day. It's Thursday, July 20th. It's 3.51. I was going to lay down and try to take a nap or whatever before I go to work tonight. But because I've been up since like 8.30, 9 o'clock. But I literally have not ate today. I ate a bowl of cereal. So I'm about to cook me some air fryer hot wings real quick and some type of side to go with that. And then I'm about to get my scrubs and stuff ready so I can just throw on and go. I'll probably go ahead and take Prince out again so I ain't gotta worry about trying to rush with him. And then I probably will lay down, but like I said, it's about to be four. Um, and then I probably won't get done doing what I'm doing until about like 4.30. And then, I mean, I could still take like a little hour cat nap. Oh. Excuse me. But yeah, um, I don't know if I said, Bay had came over today to give me my iPad. I left my iPad at his house yesterday and he just ran into me and he left before he had to go to work. So, okay, it's 5.49, here I am about to, <laughs> not really be running late, but I kind of wanted to, since I've been there in two weeks, kind of get there a little bit earlier than my normal arrival time or whatever just in my little scrubs these are from walmart um yeah so <laughs> i'm about to go ahead and take print out real quick and then load up my backpack and stuff and i'm not gonna brush my curls out i'm gonna spray just a little bit of hairspray not too much because i don't really want you know hard hair and this is like extreme hold i'm gonna be taking my uh, iPad tonight because they still have my MacBook. I honestly don't think I need like my actual like charging bag, electronic bag, but I'm just gonna take it. I don't have time to make it look pretty. But I got my AirPods, chargers. Um, gonna be wearing a pack of my new socks today. Yeah. We're gonna do black. Then, I'm also gonna take me a bottle of water. As far as snacks go, I have a Lunchable and then I can have like cheese or something. But hopefully I have something to eat at the hospital tonight. Um, I do have to work on like my budget plans and stuff. So I think all of that stuff is in here. So I should be good with this. I'm gonna clip this onto here. All right. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start my car and take prints out. My car will stay started from the app for about 10 minutes and then it's 5.52. I would like to leave out at six o'clock. Six o'clock since I'm right up the street. So this is my car. Then we're gonna go ahead and start engine remote start has been sent so that can get to cooling off and i'm about to take out prints and then i will be on my way to work all right this right here this is trash besides this i'm throwing away my old comforter that's what that is and the harness fits i think i showed y'all that when i had first bought it Good morning. Today is the, I think July 21st. I am back from work in one piece. <laughs> Just took this little boy out. See that he's enjoying his new little bowl. So I'm about to feed him real quick. I'm about to, I don't know if I wanna cook me like some bacon. I think I got like wood in it. And then like some pancakes and waffles. <sighs> or I can cook a pizza, or I can just eat cereal, or that's really it, or like raviolis or something. <laughs> I'm extremely tired. I was gonna try to vlog when I was at work, but girl, first day back in two weeks, it was a lot, and I gotta pee this while I'm moving. <laughs> but 
it was a lot like literally as soon as we sat down we back up the patients just kept calling constantly just kept calling <laughs> so it was just a lot i had basically two certain patients that was just on the call at all night <sighs> so yeah it was a lot i'm tired I already know I'm about to sleep until like 5.30. So I'm about to go ahead and take my sleeping pill that the doctor had actually prescribed to me. Y'all know I talked about that in my other vlog that's like this. I'm about to feed Prince. And then, I don't know what I want. I don't know if I want to put a pizza in the oven, then just eat that pizza and go to bed. Or if I want to just eat like a bowl of cereal and some juice. And then, but what if I don't wake up until like five and I'm gonna be starving when I wake up? But I just don't feel like cooking like bacon pancakes and a whole shebang right now. Like, <sighs> it's 7 19. So, unless if I do like cereal and like some bacon, is that weird? I mean, it's all breakfast food. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just tired, y'all. I can't even think. Like, I am so, so tired. Y'all, why did my pants just rip? This is my favorite scrub set. And they just ripped. Girl, I'm, <laughs> I am fed up right now. Well, obviously you couldn't see it. Literally right in the crotch, big old hole. The lining is coming out. Like, baby, am I getting too thick or what? <laughs> my pants are ripping, what is going on? I'm wore out, I look like an alien by the head. <laughs> and why am I coming in here? Jesus. Prince move. He's trying to play with this toy and it's like, baby, I'm about to go to bed. Sorry about ya. <laughs> I'm about to go to bed. Little boy. Bed. Time. Oh, by the way, these socks hold up pretty well. I like them. Uh, get away from my feet. Brat. Brat. <laughs> my mama calls him Brat. It's 5.43 in the evening. I literally woke up at 5.30. I am exhausted. Usually my first day back, I always like sleep all day. They just said, hey, it's about time. Hey y'all, good morning. It is 7. 14 in the morning, Saturday morning, um, July 22nd. I just got off of work. Uh, I don't feel as tired as I did yesterday because usually, like I said, on my first day back, I'm always super, super duper tired. Um, I don't gotta work today, but I did call um, Shift Soup, that is Shift Supervisors. We just call it Shift Soup. I called them and told me to add, told them to add me for Sunday, tomorrow, and for next Saturday. So I'm gonna be working four days next week if they don't cancel me. Um, they love to cancel people now because they ain't got the money to pay us basically. So if I don't get canceled tomorrow, I'll be working tomorrow. But if I do, I mean, I guess it's fine. Um, hopefully they, they won't cancel me Saturday though because there's only two texts on the schedule for Saturday. So I know they're gonna need me. But hopefully they keep me, they got four texts uh, this morning and yesterday when they had four so they need to be keeping four on night shift um but yeah i'm about to take 
my peel right here it's a little and then i got my oven preheating right now because i'm about to cook a pizza i didn't stop for breakfast because i'm trying not to buy out i'm trying to eat the groceries that i got here but i am going to do like a somewhat healthier grocery shopping haul uh probably on my next paycheck or something i don't know but for right now i just got stuff that i like and stuff that's going to get me by basically oh i'm not a good pill taker but that pill is tiny i wanted to eat cereal this morning but i'm all out of my fruit loops and i only got cinnamon toast crunch but i don't know i'm not really craving cinnamon toast crunch like I gotta be like craving certain stuff to eat it. Um, when I wake up though, I am gonna straighten up a little bit. I'm thinking about buying my bar stools today. Not bar stools, my, um, what is it? My dining room chairs, because it's like, girl, I've been needing to sit down in my dining room and like eat. Like, don't get me wrong, I eat at the bar, but I be liking to sit down at a dining room table. And especially if I'm cooking for me and Bay, like both of us right here at my bar, I just, mm -mm. I would rather sit in front of my man rather than beside. Like, I had saw something about a uh, restaurant etiquette or whatever on like either Shade Room, Spiritual World, one of those. And it was like the guy telling you the top five things to do. And somebody in the comments was like, and don't forget to sit next to her. Baby, don't sit next to me. Like, I hate seeing couples that sit next to each other in the freaking restaurant. Like, y'all that attached to the hill, baby. <laughs> sit in front of me. So, yeah, I like to sit in front of my man. So, sitting at the bar side by side, I don't really care to do that. I'd much rather sit facing him. So, thinking about going ahead and buying them. Uh, that'll definitely probably be in, like, a different vlog or something i don't even know what that would be in but yeah today's saturday i'll probably wake up and do a little stuff that i still don't got my macbook oh, i'll probably call them today they said they're gonna like email me and stuff i don't have like a like a tracking thing that i can track i don't believe so i'll probably call them if they answer i'll do that if not i'm just gonna have to go up there and basically just ask about my freaking laptop and see what place i'm in to kind of get another estimate because really i need to be editing this vlog that y'all are watching right now today um so yeah that's gonna kind of hold me up i do have a video that i can post for tomorrow but the video is a hair review and a lot of y'all dang there what I got, I got almost 30,000 subscribers. So about 25,000 of y'all ain't here for no hair review. <laughs> like that's just being real. So obviously my hair reviews always get lesser views because you know, y'all are here for the apartment stuff, my lifestyle, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to post it though, because I mean, the company already paid me. Like I can't just not post it. So I'm going to, hey y'all, it is, <clears throat> 7.52, I just woke up at like maybe 5.30. I got out of bed at like six something, just got done taking prints outside and feeding him and stuff. So I'm about to just go ahead and start cooking dinner. I got my oven set to 385. The only thing that I have left um, is to cook is like either some wings or some pork chops and then like some type of side. I don't have any more potatoes left, so I do gotta go buy some potatoes, but I'll probably go tomorrow to go grocery shopping, maybe like $50 worth of groceries or something just to kind of last me through the week. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go ahead and cook me some dinner. I did, like I said, pick up for Sunday. If they don't cancel me, I will be at work tomorrow. So $50 since I already have some sides. I just gotta really buy just like two main pieces of like meat, like whether that be like ribs, chicken or something like that. And then I can make that stretch for about like two days per like meat. So like if I got ribs, they usually come like in a pack of like five or six. Usually I would just split that in half and then eat that for like two days. Pork chops, they come with like three or four, split it in half, eat it for like two days. So that's kind of how I do stuff. And then the sides, y'all know I don't really eat vegetables. So it's either like macaroni, some type of potatoes, roast potatoes, mashed potatoes, baked potato. Um, I will eat greens and spinach, like I keep saying. So then that, 
and yeah that's really like my meals i eat the same things i just eat a lot of the same things <laughs> so i saw somebody say that on a tiktok they were trying to like gain weight or whatever and somebody was being rude in the comments like always but she was like i gotta stop being picky you know to be able to like put on weight and eat different things and the person was like basically like yeah like grow up and, you know like expand your taste buds and stuff like that which is like people be telling me to like i got baby taste buds or whatever like that but it's like baby if i don't like something i don't like it like i can't help that i don't like it y'all want me to throw up in front of y'all oh okay <laughs> so i had just told her i commented i was like girl just eat a lot of what you like or just stick to the foods that you like but just basically increase the calories or your intake with it so for me like i said i don't like a lot of foods okay but i will eat a lot of what i like and that's how i've been able to you know put on my weight or just eating more frequently throughout the day so that's what i told her she liked it and stuff like that a lot of other people like this so i'm like y'all don't gotta be rude like i don't understand why people just be rude for no reason like literally went in on her because she was saying like basically she was just like you know i really need to you know expand my palate basically that's what they say i got a baby palate but it's just like if you don't like something, you don't like it. Why do you gotta be somebody up for not liking something, you know? So I don't know. So I wanted to say, after I get done cooking, I'm about to set a timer on my phone. I'm a person that like timers really now. Um, it just keeps me more efficient and basically to like mark off my task throughout the day. So I'm gonna set a 30 minute timer to clean up each room so I can be more efficient. So basically I should be done putting this in the it's 7.56, I should be done prepping the food and stuff like that by at least like 18, 8.15. Also, I've been watching Secret Chef. I love cooking like shows and videos and stuff. Like I'd be so intrigued. So I don't know if y'all like cooking um shows and cooking videos. This is only season one, episode one, but I keep falling asleep on it. Like I watch it when I get home from work. So I literally watch maybe like five, 10 minutes and then I'm knocked out. But I absolutely love this. Um, I think it's pretty new, so if y'all do like cooking shows, I think to check it out. It's really cool so far, and I really like it. So, usually what I do is I'll just play something in the background. Um, I don't really want to put on YouTube because I'm not really going to be, like, focus-focused. But this, I can just kind of listen. But, like, when I watch people vlogs, I like to actually, like, watch their vlogs. So, yeah. If you do like stuff like that, check it out. That's what I'm going to be watching while I'm cooking. Yeah. Hey. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on his head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who no those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil, and I grew up by it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29. So in my 30 minutes, I was able to complete most of everything. My bed and everything is made. I unpacked my suitcase. Everything from over here in the corner is all gone. Everything's up. So. The only thing that I didn't get able to do, like my bathroom and stuff is clean, was to hang up the rest of these little clothes right here. This um, is how the living room looks. Not too bad. I am getting rid of that. So it can just be black and white. So living room looks like that. Kitchen. Still gotta throw that blanket out. And then I have to put these dishes in the dishwasher and then take the clothes out the laundry room. Mama used to be on disability, but gave me this ability, and now she walking with her head high and her back straight. I don't think you're feeling me, I'm out here being everything they said I wouldn't be, it couldn't be. I don't know what happened to them guys that said they would be. I said, see you at the top, and they misunderstood me. I hold no resentment in my heart, that's that maturity. And we don't keep it on us anymore, it's with security. I'm outside, 29.
done with the kitchen and living room with a minute and like 20 seconds to spare. So I'm about to go try to hang those clothes up real quick. All right, here's an overview of the living room. This only took an hour to clean. I swept and everything. This is how the kitchen is looking. Still cooking over there. Bar is good as well. Then the dining room, that's good. The box is trash. I am selling that if you're local. I want my old computer desk. And then this is trash that Prince is sitting on. Looking good. It is, what time is it? It's about, it's 9.17. So I guess I'm about to say another 30 minute timer. And then fix up my bathroom in here. So not too bad, but you know, we got stuff out and then the floor. And then this one, I'm gonna need about like two hours for this one because I do want to organize all that stuff over there. But for the most part, I guess I'll just kind of straighten off my desk in here. But yeah. And I'm also cooking, so the 30 minutes. I know for sure I'm gonna get done with my bathroom, but the room may not get done because like I said, I do need a lot more time for that. So we're gonna go ahead and start on my guest bathroom. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be another <laughs> weekly vlog. I think I'm gonna do a, another work week in my life. You guys seem to really, really enjoy this. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback. And yeah, I'm super excited. So if you're new here, hey, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family like, before you leave. <laughs> I am here on my balcony with Bay and Prince. I have to go to my job actually at one o'clock because I think I told y'all in the last weekly vlog that basically the text, I'm a tech, I'm not a nurse. A lot of y'all keep thinking I am. I keep telling you I'm not a nurse. <laughs> so I have to get certified basically as a phlebotomist, like we're learning how to draw blood and do blood cultures and stuff. So that's what I'm going to get trained in now. So we're gonna add that to my job task. And after that, me and Bay, we're gonna go to lunch. I know you're not in it all the way. I said, oh, say hey. hey. <laughs> and <laughs> Prince is down here getting all the lovings on the ground. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do a little date. Not really date night, date lunch, I guess. We're gonna go to Longhorn today, and then we're gonna go to Small Cakes, right? Well, okay, we're gonna go there. We can do this little, um, what is it? What would you call that? Jar little, thing. yeah, like little pick a date jar stick thingy. So we'll like pick a stick out the jar and it has like something for us to do. So we pick ice cream date. So we're gonna do that after we eat. And yeah, yesterday I got a good work I did with my personal trainer. I'm gonna go again tomorrow. And then I do gotta go to work Wednesday and Thursday. So I'm gonna bring y'all along. I'm gonna try to bring y'all along like in the hospital, like the stuff that I do, instead of just showing y'all when I leave work or whatever. And then I'm off Friday and then I did pick up to work Saturday. So this vlog will probably end like Sunday morning. I still don't have my MacBook. They called me today saying that they replaced my battery in the MacBook. I have a 2017 for someone who asked me. Um, But when they charge it, it's not charging. So they said they are gonna do something else free of cost to me or whatever. But yeah, stressed, honey. That's why y'all didn't get no actual vlog this past Sunday. Y'all got like a hair review. I'm super mad because I do have a whole weekly vlog to edit. And then I have this vlog to edit that I'm about to start now. So yeah, I just want to update y'all. It is 12.30, so I'm about to go ahead and head to my job to um, do this phlebotomy class and learn how to do blood cultures and stuff. And then I'll talk to y'all when I get out. We are on our way to our little lunch or whatever i want to show you all my flowers he got me after my training we're about to head to longhorn let me take my glasses off because it's not giving it's not giving but my makeup i used that new foundation that i showed y'all in the last vlog that fit me and i actually really like it i usually use the mac but this time i use that one 
and it looks really nice if I do say so myself. All right, let's go. Show y'all me taking pictures because it's gonna get my location. Okay, so I call y'all back. No, I just, I just don't want to be baking and moving oh. in the trip. Yeah, I didn't put no sunscreen on my own. Yeah, I did. That was at 10 o'clock. I said, say, shoot, I probably did do it. You know me. Hmm. I said, shoot, I ain't even <laughs> arguing you that I didn't do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Right, testing one, two. <laughs> Prince is going crazy right now. All right, me and May just got back. Y'all saw we had went to Longhorn in small cakes. <laughs> and I got my <clears throat> boy back up. Just hit him in the head. I got my package from Ohio. This is my first ever item. Okay, y'all shaking my camera. <laughs> Move. Move, dog. <laughs> like I was saying. I... Get down. <laughs> Woo! Chaos. <laughs> if y'all just know what happened today, just today just been a crazy day. Okay. I got my package from Opali. This is my first ever package from Opali. This is gonna be my birthday dress. I pray it fits. I'm also gonna do an unboxing. Make sure I stay in frame, but I'm super excited for my new dress. Bae's about to take prints outside. Okay, so I think I'm in frame. Yeah, I can see through my mirror. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited. I've never had anything from Opali. Okay. I'm just gonna go like this, cause y'all, yeah. OMG, this is so exciting. They package it? Baby, top tier. <laughs> I need to do some packaging like this for the brand. Okay. Oh, <laughs> You're new, nothing feels better than a brand new fit. We hope you love it. Period. Okay, now 
what he dressed. Oh, I pray this fits. Uh-uh, why did it say size eight? I'm about to knock they A out. Oh, I'm about, oh! This better be a UK size eight or something. Cause who about to fit in a size eight? And I know I ordered a size four cause I checked it. Okay. UK eight, US size four. Okay. 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 Woo! about to go crazy oh this is gorgeous oh my gosh i hope i can fit this okay it does have stretch okay they were right some people saying that it doesn't stretch girl this got a lot of stretch so i'm glad i got a size four probably could have got a smaller size than that my birthday dress by the time y'all see this video it's already gonna be um my birthday my birthday is next tuesday august 1st team leo yeah so this is what I'm gonna be wearing. I wanna have a birthday dinner. So I'm about to just go ahead and try this on here soon. I wanna try it on maybe after I take a shower or something cause I've been outside and you know, I don't wanna smell it outside. But I do need to get a quick video of me in this dress for my TikTok that I'm doing today. I wanted to do like a day in the life again cause y'all on TikTok really seem to love the other one if y'all do follow me on TikTok. So. I'm about to hurry up and record this real fast. Okay, so hey y'all. It is... <laughs> it is a Wednesday, July 26th. And I am on my way to go to the gym. I think I told y'all about me going to... What did I tell y'all? Anyways, I got a personal trainer now with my gym. So she basically put me a whole... What is it? Gym list together i don't know workout routine or whatever so basically i have something for every single day and i'm not gonna go to the gym every single day but i'm gonna try to go like at least the very least three times a day so today it's gonna be the stairmaster i got weighted squat jumps bicep curls um tricep push downs dumbbell reverse flies and i got like an ab circuit basically so i'm wearing gym shark shorts i can link them if you want i really love gym shark it just snatches you in really nicely and this is their um do i have these on backwards <laughs> these are their seamless these may be on backwards i thought this going in the front though i don't know anyways i'll check on that later and this is ois sports i don't even know if they still a brand or not they, this company sent me this like two years ago i think in like 2021 so yeah i'm about to like repart my hair because my part is crooked and then i'm about to take prints out and head to the gym it's 12.05 i was supposed to meet with her at 12 but she ain't like text me or anything like that so i don't really know if that's still going on or not but she goes to work at 12 and she will be there until 5 so i'm gonna see her anyways so yeah, y'all already know where to hear from. Link in the bio. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and repart my hair. Cause, baby, it's not giving. And I don't really want to put no heat on it until I go to like work. So I'll probably recurl my hair a little bit before I go to work. So it can last me through the rest of the week. Yeah. A little edge control. Today I have to go to work, so hence the reason why it's titled what it's titled. Right. And yesterday, um, I don't really think I talked about the little lab session or whatever. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Like the actual like training portion and getting introduced to like basically a sticking people, if you will. Um, I actually stuck one of the instructors. <laughs> so he was very helpful, all of them were. I go to work today, so I'm gonna try to catch. Lab usually comes around at like four in the morning to do the um, lab work to get lab work from the uh, patient. So I'm gonna probably follow them tonight um, once I'm done with like all of my vitals and stuff like that. How does this go? Oh, girl, you gotta push this one. Okay, it's a little different. Just trying to make sure my hair down. 
Okay. But yeah, um, it was fairly easy. Like the sticking was easy once you actually find the vein. I'm scared to, cause my actual partner, who's also my coworker, she's a hard stick. I couldn't find any, you know, any veins or whatever on her. So yeah. Anyways, overall, it was a good experience. I'm excited. I would want to practice on, depending on my patient, like, you know how you got aggravated patients and stuff like that. So I'll probably try to find one of my patients that's really, you know, nice and understanding <laughs> about what's going on and like probably try to stick them. So we got to get 20 sticks before, 20 successful sticks before we can check off. So today I hope to get another like two or three depending on my patience tonight. And then, yeah, we're gonna go from there. So, I'm about to go ahead and take prints out. I did put on my sunscreen on my face. I gotta put it on my arm because, honey, taking me down under. And I am wearing a t-shirt over this because, yeah, I don't feel comfortable just wearing this yet. So, once my back fat go and my stomach get back down, then I can start wearing my sports bras. Okay, so I definitely have my shorts on backwards. They're fixed now. These are seamless, so I gotta remember there's no seam, obviously, right here in the crotch area because that little seam is supposed to go on the butt as like a lifter i guess anyways the gym shark is supposed to be in the front and then the little logo is on the side so yeah we got that figured out now i'm ready to print out it looks like it's gonna rain today it's like really gloomy Hey y'all, today is Friday, July 28th. I know I have not been on here, I think in a minute. Um, I got my little spot treatments going on. I did break out with a big pimple right here. These two is just kind of like pimples that I like feel forming. And then I do have one like right here on my hairline. That was a really big one. But anyways, it's 517. Woke up a couple hours ago and decided to get up and kind of start working on some stuff for the business. Um, if you guys didn't know, I sell raw Vietnamese hair. So I am just kind of working on my website right here. So what I'm trying to fix basically, I'm gonna let this load. This is my website, right? So when you scroll, like I offer Afterpay, ShopPay, all of that. So, you know, you can split your payments in four, but right here I have my description, but also again right here, my editor who made my site didn't add anything under here. So I've, I saw this a few times, but then it didn't really just register that like nothing was under this. So then I got to scrolling and looking some more and I'm like, first off, this looks so unprofessional. Like, why is this right here? Like, I just don't understand. So basically what I'm doing is gonna be taking this off because why do I need shipping information right here when the shipping information is right here also and on my like policies and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be taking this off and then this right here, an image with text. I was thinking of doing some type of like customer review or whatever. So I may add that in or I may do like the like the ratings and stuff. I don't know, something of that nature or I may just take that out completely and then just leave the care instructions, shipping and materials, well, shipping and returns, the materials will be description. I'm going to just go ahead and remove this and add that under materials to make it look really clean. And then under the dimensions and stuff, I think I may just add that under materials and take away dimensions because, you know, I'm just going to add that all in one and then have care instructions. So it's going to be description, shipping and returns, care instructions, then you can share it. And then I may add in to where people can plug in their pictures, do reviews and stuff like that. And then also you have the, you may also like that right there. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, I've been watching, who's this guy? This guy's been the most help for me so far with this. Um, his name was 
his name is on how so i'm just watching this video and it's been helping and then i'm about to do like type my stuff and then i'm just gonna airdrop it and send it to my macbook so yeah but i got my macbook back i don't know if i told y'all that i think i did super excited um they fixed my battery it's um I can literally use it without it being plugged in. So, I mean, that's a plus. I'm really loving that. Um, and I'm also trying to get my site together because my birthday is in a few days. And I kind of want to do some type of birthday sale um, for the bonus that I do have here. So, I was thinking, I don't know, I may just brainstorm some more tonight. I need to be editing, but I really want to get, like, my site together so I can, you know, make it a little bit easier for y'all or whatever. So, and I also noticed that, like, I have hair on hand, but a few people have been going to, like, pre-order the stuff that I, like, have. So, I'm like, is that confusing for y'all or what? So, I don't know. I need to probably just do, like, a live video or something on my um, business page or, like, just ask more questions. Like, is there something, is there anything confusing about the site? I had to place orders and stuff. Because I know when I first launched, it was a lot of confusion, like... Obviously, I was doing pre-orders when I first launched and people were going to my site and instead of like I added these that said pre-order, but people were going to the site and was seeing everything was sold out. And, you know, in my description and when I had said, you know, my website is launched, I said I'm only doing, you know, pre-orders. But of course, you know, things get misread and people, you know, either don't read it or whatever, you know, they just see launch and go straight to the website. So that's why I'm like. Do I need to just take this off completely or then, like, I don't know. Do I need to take this off the pre-order or do I need to take all of this extra stuff off that says sold out and then just leave the pre-orders and then what I do have in stock? Because my tabs says home shop contact policy and pre-order. Should I do pre-order right there? Keep Well, I want to keep that, obviously. And then on shop, I think I want to have that be, like, on hand to make it just a thousand times easier for you guys so it's like y'all know this is on hand this is what you need to be shopping for so all right so update i finally figured out how to put the basically info down in this little like drop box if you will so if you go up here to my site we're going to redo this and then scroll down i do have to take this off but if you go down to description now it pops up under the description uh, uh, i love that i'm such a fast learner literally i wanted to say when i was at work yesterday i just got out the shower and put on a bonnet but <laughs> let me take this off because girl it's not giving anyways last night i told y'all that we basically, the techs at my job, we're going to have to start drawing blood, doing blood cultures and stuff. So one of the lab techs, again, let me stick her. And I did really, really good. And um, where was I going with this? What was I just talking about? Okay, so I just had to play my clip back. I was saying I'm such a flat, a fast learner. She was like, I did really good and like that I catch on fairly quickly and stuff. So yeah, as long as I can like watch somebody do something, then I can do it. So that's just my learning style. Like I wouldn't, I'm kind of an auditory learner too, but mostly I feel like I'm more so of a hands-on learner. I think it's called, what is it called? Uh, Kenneth. It's something with a K. <laughs> I don't want to say it because I can't actually pronounce it correctly. But yeah, I'm that learner. Like definitely hands on. Like once I see you do it once or twice, all right, let me do it. So super excited. Um, my site is looking really, really good. Just a few more touches and stuff to get stuff how I want. So, so y'all internet nephew in here throwing up some eggs that he just stole out the trash. Do not feel sorry for him. Threw up over there and over here. How did he get in the trash? Like, the trash is taller than him. How did he get up in here and get the McDonald's stuff out? Then get the bag out. Then op like then opened everything out the trash. So I get here, the McDonald's stuff that I had brought me and Bay is out. So he, Bay didn't finish the eggs or he didn't really eat the eggs. So he ate the eggs. Then now look at him. Throwing up. Don't feel sorry for you. Cause I told you to stop doing that. And he know he in trouble.
Y'all, like, I just cannot. Y'all know them other times he be y'all sick and stuff like that. I be feeling sorry for him. Okay, okay, okay. No. Definitely not this time because you know what? Oh, girl! Ah! You know what? Why not just step in it? He threw up again. Well, I guess this was the first one. I knew I heard something up over here. Girl! You know what? <laughs> What? Prince. <sighs> you know what? It's cool though because it didn't took what? I moved in April, May, June, July. Three months for him to do something? From me giving him too much freedom? Okay. Okay. From now on, I literally said that he's going to be locked up in my um, guest bedroom because he's going to be in one spot. So then he can't get into anything because this bed and stuff is already over here. So literally I'm going to be closing this door so he can't go anywhere. And he's been barking too like crazy once I leave or something. So yeah, he's going to be locked up in that room from now on. I got to clean off my freaking foot. Just took a shower. Do not got time for this. Like I'm about to go get... Prince ain't been in no cage or nothing for like a couple years. But at this point when he be sick... I used to lock him up in his cage, you know, if he had diarrhea or pooping, because obviously, you know, I want it contained in one spot. So when I would go to sleep, I would lock him up in that cage just to make sure that he wasn't throwing up and pooping and stuff on my, um, you know, like on my furniture and stuff like that. So, looks like I'm about to feed him some of that medicine that I give him. And yeah. He's done for tonight. Like, I'm completely over it. And the thing is, the one thing that I do kind of miss <laughs> about my last apartment was, I don't miss that it wasn't no carpet, but the no carpet definitely came in handy because it was just easy to just wipe up stuff and clean up stuff. Rather than this, now I have carpet. Now I'm going to have to spray this and scrub this like crazy. my swifter I'm about to have her mop the rest of my apartment but i just cleaned up in here prince had poop right here over there runny diarrhea all of that so just got him some more fresh water some more food and put in some of that diarrhea control that i showed y'all and then i also gave um him that medicine that was prescribed from his doctor so hopefully that works too but keeping him in here tonight i got this gate he can normally get this gate off this one is the one he normally can't get off but i'm going to kind of close this a little bit i got that towel right there so he can lay on that tonight his other bed i am going to have to throw out i actually have it out on the balcony right now with the other stuff that i used to clean with so how do i turn my light on right here this is his old bed. I don't even feel like cleaning that. It had like throw up on it, all kind of stuff on it. Not even about to put that in my washer. So we just gonna throw that out. And plus it's gray. I don't got nothing else gray in my apartment. So I don't really care to throw this out. He do got another bed out there. That's gray too. So I mean, I can just bring that in if need be, but I'm not gonna give him no bed tonight simply because he's going to be throwing up and pooping. Probably, hopefully not. But if he do, he's just been getting it everywhere. So I do have him in my guest bathroom simply because it's easier to clean up. So I don't have to get anything out of any carpet. He's just on like a plain floor and I don't have anywhere to keep him like in here, like to be closed off anywhere. So yeah, and it is two o'clock in the morning. I'm currently about to make me some chicken Alfredo <laughs> because I'm just hungry and this is all that I have to eat. So we're gonna keep him in here. I'm gonna keep that light on, which I really don't want to because it's gonna be running on my light bill, but whatever. Um, Y'all can go check out my website, ajbbeautycollection.com. Um, I did I did some little changes and added some stuff. So you guys can go tell me how it looks and what you think. Just minor details that probably most people wouldn't even notice, but I would notice. <laughs>
Okay, so I need to defrost my chicken quickly. So I'm gonna try it in the microwave and I uh, kinda need to clean my microwave now that I'm looking at it. Anyways, <laughs> got my noodles cooking. Um, we're gonna do the defrost. Never, never ever paid attention to this before ever in my life. But yeah, we're gonna try it out. So it's a defrost, boom. And then enter food weight. I don't know, we're gonna put about half a pound probably um and then enter food weight and then start My doorbell is on 20%, so I have to charge it. Okay, I have a video of me organizing all of this. And yeah, I'm gonna use one of these to take it off because I don't know where my actual ring screwdriver went. I think it was also like orange and I don't see anything orange popping up at me. This is the charger though for the ring. And I looked everywhere in here, so yeah. So I think it lasts a pretty long time before you have to charge it. Like maybe I will be on since I'm on 20% now, it's end of July. I'll probably get about like maybe like two, three more weeks. So like almost until the end of August, probably until I have to charge it. I got this in. I think I put this what I moved in April. So April, May, June, July, let's just say August, it'll like go completely dead. So you don't have to charge it until four months. As y'all know, obviously I'm in an apartment, so I don't have the one with the wires. This is the one that runs on battery. So I think that's, this is definitely better. I would rather charge every four to five months rather than charging every single week. Like my other apartment that they gave us a doorbell, girl, that doorbell was so raggedy and they had us charging it, um, like literally I have to charge it every single week. So I'm not even gonna take it out of this because I don't wanna mess up my little, you know, thing that I got going on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the back of here. All right, we're just gonna plug this in here then. Move the camera battery to another one, okay. There we go, it's charging. So it has to go all the way around. Y'all know how that go. Y'all saw me set this up. So I'm gonna let this charge. Um, what time is it? It's 2.27. If they don't cancel me today to go to work, then I'll be going to work. I'll be leaving here at six o'clock. So I still got a few, few hours to um, do stuff around here. So um, I don't know if it's gonna be charged in what, two, three, four, five, six, in about four hours. We'll see, I'll probably just leave it here overnight to get it all the way to 100% so I don't gotta worry about it for another like four to five months. So, I'm gonna lock my door. I meant to do this this morning when I was up. Y'all know I was up. I didn't go to sleep until like five o'clock this morning. So I meant to take it off while I was cleaning and you know, getting prints together and stuff. He's doing good too, by the way. Cause I know y'all don't ask. Um, he didn't poop or pee. Well, he didn't poop at all in there. Um, I took him outside. It was outside for maybe at least like 10 minutes and he didn't poop as we're coming up the stairs he decides to poop <laughs> right up on the stairs and then another girl was coming up with a smaller dog and i guess she was trying to figure out what was going on and i was like yep outside for 10 minutes and he decides to poop now she was like that is hilarious so yeah he's been doing better i'm gonna take out that trash um when i go back outside to take him but i'm not gonna feed him again until tonight like he usually eats twice a day and so I don't know when the last time he got done munching on his food because I had filled this food back up last night at like 2 a.m. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna feed him at like 5.30, put some more medicine in there. And yeah, and his poop, it wasn't like diarrhea anymore, which is good. It was like, if you care, it was like soft. It was solid, but it was still like kind of soft. So that's better than diarrhea. So we getting there, we getting there, but I'm still yeah, today is Sunday. I'm currently cleaning my makeup brushes. Um, I'm gonna end out this weekly vlog today. I am looking at some makeup tips of how to do my makeup. 
So I'm going to practice some makeup, birthday makeup for my birthday on Tuesday. Today's Sunday. I'm going to practice tomorrow, Monday. So I'm trying to make sure I'm starting with clean brushes because, you know, that's very important. So, baby, these are clean. I only did four. This is my foundation brush. This is going to be my third or fourth time. I think my third time washing this, as you can see, it still has makeup in it because this is my foundation brush. This, brush. this is what I use, you know, the most. So I have the rest of these brushes to do and these brushes to do. I'm going to clean my beauty blenders to have a clean, flawless makeup application tomorrow. And then we're going to just be doing a little bit more birthday prep but I'm gonna start an actual birthday vlog to do that. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing.